seeing that in separation, Shimati Radhika, she's running to a tamal tree and she's embracing the tamal tree. Sometimes she's chastising a rain cloud. He's thinking that what is the mahima of her love? That myself in separation, I'm never embracing the kadamba tree. My love is not going so high. So he develops a greed to understand what is the greatness of this love. Second, Shri Radaya Panaya Mahima Kirisho Vanayeva Swadyo Yena Bhutta Kirisho Vamadiya Kirisho Vamadiya That he wants to understand that Krishna, he is full of four, four Maduris. Um, Rup Maduri, the sweetness of his um, form, um, it's explained, Bahapidam Natavara Bapu Kanayoka Anikaram Bibrat Vasha Kanaka Kapisham Vajanti Malam That this sweetness, that it is not had by any of his incarnations, that only Krishna, he has this Rup Maduri, Venu Maduri, Iti Venu Rabam Rajans, Iti Venu Rabam Mahanoharam, that Sabad Bhutta Manoharam. That all living entities, they become charmed, enchanted when they hear his flute. All the um, living entities in Vrindavan forest. So, Krishna, he cannot understand from the point of uh, Vishoy that he is the object of love. So, to understand this, then he has to take the position of Ashroy. Gurudev has explained. Like that. Jena Dhuta, Jena Swadyo. Means? He wants to taste. No, no. Radhika has tested, enjoyed by Radhika, mm. only Radhika can enjoy. Eh? So that Madhuri for Arkid Grisha, mm. that Madhuri is how glorious or how Krishna does not know. Only Radhika knows. Mm. And then third, Sri Radhika Panay Mahima Kirisho Bhana Yeva Swadhyoya Nabhutya Kirisho Bhama Diya Sokyam Chashat Mananu Bhavat that when Srimati Radhika, that she is able to taste the Maduris of Krishna in most super excellent way that nobody else can taste. It's that Ridoya Prem Dapana, that according to the love which is within the heart, then one will be able to perceive the sweetness of one's object. So, when, though Srimati Radhika, she's not desiring any happiness herself, but in that tasting, that sweetness of the Maduris of Krishna, then she's um, getting uh, a, a, a happiness which is unsurpassed and Krishna, he becomes very greedy that he wants to also be able to experience the happiness that he's tasting. Word, Simati Radhika, she enjoys for Madhuri of Krishna, then he becomes so happy. happy. That happiness, what, what happiness is that? Mm. Clearly, in this way, you should know. <coughs> Not so easy. Rasamallah. Is there a good question, sir? Any question? I have a question, Vivek. Raghunath Bhattas. Why are these three internal? Loudly, loudly. Why are these three internal reasons considered? Uh, uh, why are these three internal desires of Krishna considered a reason for him to come here? Why can he experience these three desires in a spiritual world? Yesterday, Shripad Ashramaras asked the same question. Why he came here to experience this? He could have experienced this in the spiritual world. Same question. Yeah. I told you, you were not there. Okay. Ha, what answer I give? Because you said that Krishna is Paramakarun. So he is coming here so that the living entities within this material world, then they can, under, they can understand this very deep confidential topic. Mm. But that's the next thing reason. Because if he was testing in Golo, we ca cannot have known. known. We cannot know. So he descended with all his associates to this to his thoughtless mark to give to the, that they should know all these things. Only for Kim Kanto Srimad Bhagavatam, this verse, yesterday the same question came 
This verse Anugrahaya Bhaktanam Munushanam Dehinam Ashita. This verse's explanation for this point?